Chapter 2 deals with the combinational logic circuit. Uh, if you remember, uh, we have uh, two types of uh, logical circuits. Uh, first one is a combinational circuit, uh, where the output is uh, dependent only upon uh, the current inputs. Uh, the, the other type is a sequential circuit, uh, where the output is dependent not only the current input, but also the history of the inputs in the past. Uh, so chapter 2 deals with a combinational circuit only. Uh, we have a few definitions uh, regarding binary logic. Uh, first, uh, the binary variables. So bi binary variables is a variable which takes only one of the two values. So here you have a uh, true-false or you have a 1 or 0, or you have on or off, or whatever the values are, uh, the binary variable takes only one of the two possible values. Logic operators are the operators which are applied upon binary values or binary variables. A basic logical operator is we have uh, three of those, uh, and a function, or function, and the not. Later on, we will develop more logic functions, which is a composite operators, which is made up of a combination of a basic logical operators. Logic gates are physical implementation of a logic functions, and the Boolean algebra is a mathematical system which precisely describe the logic operations. So, using this Boolean algebra, we manipulate the logical expressions. So we are going to learn this mathematical system so that we can use this tool to optimize the logic design. Binary variables. Recall binary variables takes only one of the two values. So you can represent the two values in many different ways. But in this course, primarily we use a 1 or 0 as two binary values. As to the binary variables, we could have any combination of letters or some special symbols like identifier of some programming language. For now, we will just use one single letter variable, sometimes with some subsequent numbers though. So later on, we are going to use a variable with a multiple characters, but for now, we will just primarily use a one single letter variable as a uh, binary variables. Logical operator, basic operations are AND, OR, and NOT. And the AND is denoted by a dot, and the OR is denoted by a plus sign, so, so don't get confused with the arithmetic addition here plus symbol is not arithmetic addition in uh, logical operations it is uh, or operations and the not is denoted by an over bar or a single quote mark after the variable or a tilde before the variable so primarily we use a quote mark after the variable which is very convenient for typing purpose so in the sum of the slides or text use uh, the over bar symbol. So either one uh, we use interchangeably. Notation example uh, A cross B is read as end. So we use uh, uh, a dot instead of uh, a cross bar or uh, like in math, if you put A and B, it implies multiplication, but in logic operations, uh, uh, the end operation is implied if you don't put any notation there. So we would either use a dot or just uh, don't give anything at all, and uh, just the uh, implied end notation is used. Plus symbol is uh, for OR, so we use a Z is equal to X or Y, and over bar or quote mark after the variable is not a not function, so we read this expression as x is equal to not a. So remember, this expression is a arithmetic equation, so 1 plus 1. 
but here in logic notation this is a one or one is one operators are defined as follows uh, and uh, for two variables uh, all possible combination of two variable values are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. For those, n is defined as that way. Such that when both variables have 1 and 1, then the result of n the function is 1. Otherwise, it's 0. The OR function is defined as a this way. So either one of the two values or both have a 1, then value is a 1, otherwise the value is 0. The NOT operator is defined as a inverting the value. So NOT 0 is a 1, NOT 1 is a 0. Here, if we use a 0 as a false, a 1 as a true, then which is a, a this definition is exactly the same as a logical operation and is true if both are true or is true if one of the two or both are true that is just a complementing the operation truth table is a tabular listing of values of a function for all possible combination of values on its argument so here is an example of those for two variable and the function, the truth table is a list, a tabular listing of all possible input combinations. So we have a two variable x and y, then all possible input combinations are 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1, and then we specify the result of end operation based on all possible input combinations. So we list the value in a tabular form is called a truth table. So similarly, if we do OR function, this is a truth table for OR function, and this is a truth table for NOT function. Suppose we have three variables x, y, and z. The function defined as x or y not and z suppose that f is defined that way then truth table is something like this so we have all possible combinations of input values from 0 0 0 through 1 1 1 and then the function f when x y z is 0 0 0 then f is 0 and so on so we have a tabular listing of all possible input values and then the resulting function we have a truth table in this truth table, you can write an equation for that. So f is equal to x or y not in the z. Then uh, this equation expresses exactly the same information from the truth table. Another way of expressing this relationship is using logic diagram. So in this logic diagram, triangle with a bubble is a not function logic diagram and then this is a and function logic diagram and this is a or function logic diagram what this logic diagram represents is that the signal flows from left to the right so those are variables x y z are the input variable and then f on the rightmost side is a output of the function so what this logic diagram describes is that uh, y not uh, so at this moment what you got is a uh, y not uh, and the, at this moment what you get is a uh, end of uh, y not and z and at this moment uh, what you get is x so f is a uh, x or this value this value is uh, x not and the z so this is logic diagram representation and this is a Boolean equation representation, and this is a truth table expression. And all those three expressions carry exactly the same information. What you can observe from this one is that uh, truth table is unique, uh, but expression 
in equation or logic diagram could be flexible. We could have uh, many different forms of equations or logic diagrams.